Hi everyone, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to show you how to install a new hard drive in your Linux machine. Let's explore the file systems, partitioning and all the management you need to do before you start using your new hard drive. But before you start, let me remind you, you can subscribe to my channel and press the bell button to get notifications about the new videos I'll be publishing. Now, let's do it! Okay, let's start by creating the new hard drive. I'm using a virtual box and uh, even if this is a simulation, it will give you a good perspective on what you'll need to do in a real situation. Let's add a new hard drive in our virtual machine. We could add a, a pre-existing one, but we will create a new one in VDI, the standard format for virtual box and dynamically allocate the space required. In this case, I will edit the size of the hard drive and put 20 gigabytes. And we are done. We can create the file. But be careful because we need to attach the file to our virtual machine. And here it is, the new file already created with 20 gigabytes of space. So at this point we have all the hard drive available. Nothing has been used so far. So we can start the machine. Let's wait until the operating system boots before we can start dealing with our new hard drive. Let me remind you that we still have our main hard drive with the operating system installed. Now I'm logging in with, with my personal account. And after we reach the graphical environment, let me open a command line with Control alt t and install immediately the software required to make file uh, disk management. Gparted is the software I'll be using. Let me confirm the installation. We'll be ready in a few seconds. And let's open the application by calling for its name, gparted. It will require root permissions. We are a sudoer, so we can use it directly. If not, you can always enter the root account. And now let's select the SDB hard drive. This is the new device created by us by installing a new hard drive. You have installed and you have selected it and now we are creating the new partition table. I'll be using GPT partition table format because it is uh, much dynamic, it's uh, uh, much more recent than the MS-DOS uh, legacy one. So after we have partition table I'm creating the new partition. Here I will enter partition size let me allocate a standard size. I'll be dividing by four. So five gigabytes. And I will give it a name. Let's call it partition one. I will put the same name on the label field. We can copy and pass to easy the process. Okay. So. The first partition is already created with extended for file system format, the standard for Ubuntu Linux distribution. And now let me put the same size and for partition two, let me pass the name and for the partition file system, let me choose NTFS, the native file system format for Windows operating systems. Now, we can put the same name on the label field, partition 2, and now we are done. Okay, we have already put two partitions, two new partitions. Let's create the third one. 
in this case let me put again the size and at the end we will see what's happening with this one so I'll call it partition 3 and now for the file system type I will choose FAT32, a legacy one and after I have chosen 5 gigabytes we will see that it's not what we've got it's truncated to 4 gigabytes because it has a real limitation on uh, maximum size so I'll have a little bit more available now for my fourth uh, partition let me create partition number 4 using the remaining available space in my hard drive for this one I'll be choosing extended FS3 I will use all the remaining space like I said, let me give it a name. I'll be calling it partition 4 and extended 3. Here it is. The same name for the label. And we are done. So let's apply here in the green check button to confirm all the operations the disk is being partitioned and each partition is being formatted and prepared so you can start using them we can go to the details to check the operations that have been made and to confirm anything you need to do uh, after by checking technical details here of all the operations so if you need to get more information you can see everything here all the comments being made blocks etc so let's proceed and now at the command line I have made lsblk to show you that we have four partitions but they are not mounted yet and that's what we need to do now but before that let me show you BLK ID so you can check that all the partitions I'm showing here number one are correctly established with the file systems created like we determined I'm opening now the file manager to show you how we can access here at other locations you see all the partitions listed if you click in one partition you will see that it is automatically mounted so we can use and now you see that we don't have permissions to create a new folder for partition 2 we already have the required permissions let me create a folder here we go now let's go to the next one partition 3 let's create a folder welcome here we go no problem so far only the first one is giving us problem and the fourth also problem so what's happening is that partition number one and number four are using extended uh, file systems the native and uh, because of that we don't have permissions let's go manually to the mounting points and uh, correct that as you can see root is the owner of the partitions uh, so of the, the folders that are uh, being used to mount and I will change properties of these folders the ownership and the group they will belong to so we can use it so my own user my personal using user will be the one uh, being used for this uh, purpose so after that as you can see I am honing the folders and if I unmount everything and close and reopen the window again the file manager will load the correct permissions and will let me create the folders I need so I can show you everything is working properly so at partition number one 
I can now create a new folder called welcome and here we have it. We have created it correctly. For partition 4 the same, we have created the folder and we have now 4 partitions and 4 folders correctly created in our hard drive. So we are using FAT32, NTFS, Extended FS3 and Extended FS4 in the same hard drive. Here we have the fourth partitions are all created and mounted in slash media slash rs medias one folder for each partition and now let me show you a little bit of fdisk just to give you one comment let me show you the help with m comment and p for printing partition table partition table here we have it so if, if i press p enter i can check all the partitions this will be the command line version for taking care of the hard drives and if you prefer for example on a server where you don't have graphical environment you can use fdisk to do that i'm uh, aligning some properties the file system table the file system types partition table uh, uh, properties so fdisk is, can be used to, to, to check to take care of the partitions so block ID is showing us also the same information extended for is the type of the first one so you can check these properties for all the four partitions we have uh, been creating today you can use other uh, file system types that are available on Linux and as you can see our partitions are new so we are uh, not using them no more than 1% is being used. We have just created one folder, nothing more. So we have plenty of space available on these uh, partitions. Okay, guys, so this is it. I hope you have enjoyed my video about uh, installing and creating partitions on a new R drive. And uh, let me remind you that this is also available for any other Linux distribution using GNOME uh, graphical environment. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell button to receive notifications about all the videos I'll be publishing. Thank you guys, bye bye.